friends what's up this is rk from 360 reader right now i'm going to talk about what is icloud data recovery and how to add a recovery contact on iphone ipad and mac Apple has introduced a highly efficient data recovery service called the iCloud Data Recovery Service that is designed to let you recover your data securely if you ever happen to forget your Apple ID passwords. If you are wondering how it works and how to add a trusted recovery contact on your iOS, iPad OS or Mac OS, let me help you understand it in a better way. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. iCloud secures your data by storing it in an encrypted format. If you forget your password or device passcodes, iCloud Data Recovery Service can help you get your data back. For your privacy, there is some information the service can't recover. To make sure you can get all your data back, you can ask someone you trust as a recovery contact or set up a recovery key. iCloud Data Recovery Service requires Apple to maintain access to your data to help you recover it. Recovery contacts can't access your data but can help you get it back. Using a recovery key can help you restore all your data. When you create one, the only way to reset your password is by using another device already signed in with your Apple ID or by entering your recovery key. So make sure to keep it in your mind if you want to use a recovery key. First off, I'm going to show how you can add an iCloud recovery contact on your iPhone and iPad. You can ask someone you trust, choose a friend or family member to add as a recovery contact for your account. The person you choose must be at least 13 years old and have an Apple device. You can ask for help in person or by phone. If you forget your password or device passcode, you will need to ask your recovery contact for help. Do know that your recovery contact can't access your data but can help you recover all of it and get back into your account. Go to the settings app on your iOS device and then tap your profile. After that, tap password and security. Now tap account recovery. Next tap add recovery contact. Next tap go ahead with the instructions to add a trusted contact. Now I'm going to show how you can create a recovery key for your iCloud account. Well, recovery key is pretty helpful as it can help you restore all your data. However, bear in mind that the only way to reset your password is by using another device already signed in with your Apple ID or by entering your recovery key. To get it and simply launch settings app on your iPhone or iPad. After that, tap on your profile, then select password and security and tap account recovery. After that, tap recovery key and then turn on the toggle right next to recovery key. Next up, follow the instructions to securely create a recovery key and make sure to save it in a safe place. Now I'm going to show how to add a recovery contact on macOS 12 or later. Besides, I will also talk about the steps to create an iCloud recovery key on Mac. As the process is just as straightforward, you shouldn't face any issues. To get it done, simply launch system preferences on your Mac. After that, click on Apple ID and then choose password and security. After that, click on the edit button located right next to account recovery. Next up, you will get the option to add recovery contacts and also create a recovery key. Again, the process is pretty straightforward, so choose the preferred way to go as per your needs. That's all there is to it. Hopefully, you have got a fair perspective about how iCloud data recovery works on iOS 15, iPad OS 15, and Mac OS 12. Now that you know how the security feature works, make the most of it to recover your data if you ever forget your apple id passwords if you have found this video helpful make sure to like and share it and i'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks till then stay safe and have a great time bye bye